First thing, you should have a baggie with these cards in it. And these are going to be the templates to make the squares that we want to get. So, take the first one and you're going to trace it three times on the right side of your paper. And it doesn't need to be perfect. Just want to get a square on there. Okay, so that's the first one. Second one is going to be these little rectangles. We're going to trace two of them down at the bottom in the middle. Number three, we're going to trace it four times in the middle and on the left of the page. There's one. The last one is going to be number four, and it's going to go down here in the bottom left corner. All right, once you have all that, we can go through and label them. First one is going to be dry brush. That's this one. And then we're going to do a graded wash with two colors. Here. Flat wash in this one. Scraffito. Wet in wet in this one. We're going to use masking tape to keep white spots in this one. We're going to pull or lift out paint in this bottom one. We're going to do another flat wash here, but then we're going to add salt. And then we're going to do two graded washes here with one color. And then the second one, we're going to add glaze and plastic wrap to make a texture. Okay, so you should have salt. A little push pin to scratch the paper, masking tape, a piece of plastic wrap, and then your brush, your watercolor palette, and a cup of water. All right, so first we can go ahead and do the dry brush. And dry brush, dry brush is just where you have mostly paint on your brush. There's not a whole lot of water. and it should look kind of streaky and textured instead of smooth and you can make it dark by using a lot of paint so you can use this to add texture All right, next we're going to do flat wash. And flat wash is just where you use one color. And you try and make it look as flat as you can without any variations in um, value. And it's harder than it looks. So choose a color. And you want to have a lot of paint and water on your brush because you want it to flow very easily. And you just go back and forth. And remember, you're moving the paint around, not scrubbing the paper. If you get a big puddle like that, move the puddle around. And then leave it alone. 
Next, we're going to do Scraffito. That's when you take something sharp and you scratch the surface of the paper without going through before you paint on it. And this is used when you want to add small details because when you go to paint over it, wherever you scratch the surface, you can see it come out and it's darker. And you can also scratch into the wet paint. Makes it a little bit different. All right, next. We're going to do two graded washes, and that is where you start dark and you gradually go to light. So choose two different colors, whatever colors you want, and you want to start out with a lot of paint on your brush because you want it to be dark, and then slowly start to move that paint down, gradually using more water instead of paint. to make it lighter. Okay, so we're going to do that one more time. Choose a different color. And start out dark. And then gradually move the paint down. Adding more water as you go so it gradually becomes lighter. And if you do it and it doesn't look exactly smooth, you can kind of go back a little bit. But you don't want to do this too much because then it will get ruined. You don't want to overwork it. Alright, so now that we've done that, we're going to do the same thing, graded wash, except this time instead of going dark to light, it's going to go from one color to another. So I'm going to start with blue. And instead of adding water, I'm slowly going to start to add purple because I want it to change to purple. So it'll kind of go blue, blue violet to purple. And you can go back over a little bit to kind of smooth out that transition. All right, next, we're going to do wet and wet. And that literally means painting wet paint on wet paper. So what you want to do is wet your paper first so it's damp, not soaking wet, and you don't want puddles everywhere. But you're going to wet it first with just plain water. And then you're going to add paint. And this helps when you want to keep an area of paint somewhere specific because wherever the water is, I mean, wherever the paper is wet, that's where the paint's going to stay. It's not going to flow out into the um, dry paper. So you use a couple different colors so you can see how it blends together. And it kind of has a softer, softer look to it when you paint wet and wet. All right, next we're going to do another flat wash, except this time we're going to add salt to it. And that gives it kind of a textured, kind of cool effect to it when it dries completely. So I'm going to choose kind of a darker red-brown, and if 
you want to use more than one color, you're more than welcome to. And you want to make sure that the paint is still wet when you add the salt. So you want to do it right away. And you just need a little bit that you can sprinkle on. And then let it dry completely before you take the salt off. All right, next one is using masking tape. And masking tape is useful when you want um, maybe like straight edges. It also helps you keep white paper. So if you want an area to stay completely white, put some masking tape on it and you can paint all around it. And wherever the masking tape is, you won't get any uh, paint, so it'll stay white. So once it's completely dry, you can go back and take the masking tape off. Maybe try a few different colors in here so you can see how it blends and doesn't go where the masking tape is. Okay, the last one is called pulling or lifting, and you use this when um, for clouds because uh, it be, makes a really soft kind of like effect because you paint on here, and while the paint is still wet. You use a paper towel to lift out some of the paint. So you won't get white paper underneath, but it will be more of a softer look to it. So get down the blue, and then using some paper towel, you just want to lightly dab it And you can see that it's bringing the paint up off of the paper, and it kind of looks like clouds. You can also use a uh, wet paper towel if you want to get more paint off. And I'm not scrubbing, I'm just pressing and I'm lifting. Okay, last couple ones, we're going to use ones that we've already done. On the flat wash, we're going to splatter paint, and that's exactly how it sounds. You're going to get some paint on your paintbrush, and you can use your finger like this, or like this, however you want. Just keep in mind that this is messy, and it doesn't always go where you want it to. Our last one is going to be called glazing and that is where you have a color that you've already put down and it's dry and you put another color on top of it but you can still see that original color through it kind of like it's see-through so on this bottom left one where we did the graded wash choose a different color to paint on top and then we're also going to add a texture with our plastic wrap. So while it's still wet, place the plastic wrap on, kind of bunchy, press it in, and then leave it alone. Let it dry completely, and then when you take it off, it will have uh, kind of this rocky looking texture. And that's it. Those are your basic techniques um, when the masking tape is or when the paint is dry, you can take the masking tape off and you've got white paper underneath. When the salt is dry, you can scrub it off and it will look like this, has a different texture. And then like I said before, the plastic wrap gives you this kind of texture.